Welcome back to BU Spotlight, where we shine a light on the world's change makers. Today, we're honored to chat with Ava Rosa Santos, a social entrepreneur, leadership expert, and acclaimed author from Angola, widely recognized for her contributions to female leadership. Be sure to also check out her insightful book, We All Have a Voice, link in the description. Want the full story? Catch the complete interview on the BU podcast, also linked below. If you enjoy our video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Now, without further ado, let's dive into conversation with the inspiring Ava Rosa Santos. So this is my book that is at the moment uh, only in Portuguese, but in a very, very short while it will be also in English and is an invitation. It is my book that like is your book. We all have a voice and it is an invitation in fact, for um, everyone to uh, do his own path and having his own voice in terms of leadership. And this is a power tool because you are invited to write on the book, you know, to, to, to do your own um, stories and your own path. Once again, what is the leader you want to be and how you can do it. And this is a story passing through um, uh, several stories of my life sharing all these uh, these relations and all these connections talking about bullying talking about leadership talk, topic, uh, talking about a legacy friendship the women of my family empowering me to be their voices because they are amazing women so strong but sometimes they didn't have this voice this amazing voice my grandmother sometimes my even my mother uh, and my aunts so I feel all that when I bring this voice and it's not easy to have this purpose because um, you must feel it to have this grit inside of you this uh, willing to make some change and that is what I intend bringing this awareness about how can we have more gender equity but at the same time what do we need to do to bring this gender equity how can i be the person that will challenge you on make this shift in your life if you want to achieve and to be a better leader to have this voice that you have inside you and sometimes you are still struggling with it and trying to resonate how am i going to do it so work on your skills this is so powerful because when we are ready when we know that we have communication skills inter interpersonal skills that we have the leadership skills that we need to be on this world that is still very male dominant. We do not need to put us aside. We need to say, okay, I want to do this. I would like to, and that I need your support. For not having that feeling of not being heard, not being listened, uh, just being someone that is there, but um, it's not important, our voice as female leaders. So this is what I want and intend to achieve. Uh, and I truly believe that we can make this difference, bringing all these women's voices, bringing men aside in this journey, achieve better results, make a little contribution for changing these numbers that are not our friends and having more women empowered with the, with the skills through coaching, through mentoring, through developing their leadership, their unique voice. So that is my, my, my purpose, if I may say it like that. Inspira it, it's a method that I created that allows us to achieve goals by passing for, um, for moments, for, for, for steps. And which steps are those? So, care. 
First of all, if you want to achieve to be the leader that you want to be, you must take care of yourself. What that means for you. And what are you doing today to take care of you? Because especially women, there is this bias related with us saying that we cannot take care of ourselves. We cannot have time for ourselves. And being a leader that uh, inspire others, that bringing care for others means also to stop and to have time and take care of yourself. Then you have to cultivate. What is the, does that mean? To be the leader that you intend to be, you have to be clear what kind of leader are you. And second, what leader you wish to be. Because we have to have goals in life. Bring your leadership, bring in your awareness what kind of leader you intend to be. And what are you doing to achieve that? And then you have to consolidate. Once you are aware the kind, the, the type of leader you want to be, and you have been working on that, you have to be sure that you are using it in the best way possible. And how you will do that, how you will know that, having receiving feedback, being aware of your actions, being uh, certain that when you do all this process, you are in fact consolidating the leader that you intend to be. And so, and the cycle closes with conquer. So intentionally, what is the legacy you intend to have? And, and purpose, it's, it's a so strong word. And sometimes we do not have the answer for purpose. It's okay. So think on the small steps. Think what you intend to uh, leave to others. And this is a cycle. Because today you can answer all these questions in a certain way. In two years, you will come back or and say, oh, I have to adapt this. I need to see my consolidating in another different perspective. My legacy doesn't make sense today. And that is the beauty of Inspira. By being in a multicultural family, so my mother is Angolan, my father is Portuguese. Uh, I, was, uh, I, ha I was born here in Angola, then I was raised in Portugal where I have done all my uh, scholar uh, years and start working, so where I became a, a woman and then I, I have decided to start working here. And all my life I try to understand a little the difference uh, that we have in culture and I like to eat. Okay, <laughs> that is that is a challenge. I like to eat and I like to explore and I like to try new things. I have still a, a, some countries I would love to understand more their culture, all the Asia. Uh, I'd love to, to write and to learn how to write um, Japanese. So that is one of my goals. Um, and what this brings me is that we are so unique in our ways of uh, doing things, dressing, uh, type of uh, foods, uh, culture. Yes, but at the end of the day, the essence is the same. The values, if you have the same values, it doesn't mind if you are Portuguese and Golden, uh, English, because what is the most important and relevant is your values. What do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? Why is that important for you? And is that why I love this diversity? And um, because I have been finding people all over, all or around the world that sometimes I, I learn so amazing things, but at the end we have something in common, our passion, our values. And that make me feel that I'm part of the world and I'm not just Portuguese or Angolan. I'm part of the world and I love that. Uh, so like break those barriers, like, like bring this awareness. When you are connected, that makes all the difference.
So, um, you know, I have discovered the, that life balance is so important. When I was completely underground, like, oh my God, I have so much work to do. I have so many things to do. And then one day you just stop and realize what can you in fact do to change that. And it's not easy process. So if someone tell you, oh, it's in five minutes and you will achieve that, it's, it's a lie, okay? You have to be committed to have this in your life. And commitment is what are you doing? And once again, uh, I will bring Cuidar um, uh, care from Inspire is what am I doing today to take care of myself? So now I go to the gym, uh, I, I want to go, I go to like 6 a.m. on the morning every day. Some days I do not go. And when I do not go, what is happening now is that, oh, I'm missing that. There is something missing on my day that is not the same. Uh, I like to walk, so that works with me. I like, I have flowers. I like to be in the dirt, touching the flowers that make me um, be in peace with myself. So we have to find all these small things that make us be connected with ourselves and stop thinking on our thoughts. Listen to music, uh, do yoga, uh, be with uh, your kids. It doesn't matter. The most important is to be committed and to be sustainable in time and be eco, being aware uh, ecological um, what can I do to bring more uh, to have impact in a better world especially here in Angola especially in Africa where you still this is all new okay I want to, to separate um, the trash in my house okay but I do not have the places where I can leave the, the, the trash this is very new here and when I was in Portugal, uh, I have done all these separation, for example, of trash. But when I came here to Angola, it was impossible to do it because the country wasn't yet ready. So how we, we manage doing this, how we manage to have more control in our electricity, the way we use the electricity, the way we use um, our cars, when you do not have get the conditions to do it so this is the most amazing part but that doesn't mean i'm not connected i'm not aware and i'm not going to do anything i am doing already how and how these impact in my family life for me this is very important when you these topics to once again to uh, awareness of everyone What I, I, I do is when I'm with them, I, we, I am with them. That is our time, our quality time. Because more than the hours that we, okay, from this time to, from uh, five to eight, I will be with my kids, but then you are not there. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't work. Uh, and the second is I have dedicated one chapter to my, to my, to Pedro and Beatriz. So Pedro, he's nine and Beatriz is going to be, she has 12, she's going to be very soon 13. And I have dedicated an entire chapter just for them with a legacy, with this challenge of being a mother, an executive, entrepreneur. And what I really want them to take from me is my values and why am I doing this? Why I love what I do? Why is this so important? And we all have our clashes and that is so natural because that is family, right? If you do not have clashes and if everything is just pink, it's not true. You have to have these clashes because we learn with each other. I learn every day with them and I intend to them to learn with me. And one day they will say, well, my mother did this. And the most amazing is when they say, the man, you are famous because you are doing things related to women leadership. So that is so cool. 
and they ask me and sometimes they do not understand the all but I do not want them to understand right away all I want them to understand small pieces that resonate at their age why am I doing what I do and for me that is the most amazing thing I can pass to my kids just be yourself and when you are afraid it's okay to be afraid i have learned a big and powerful world word especially during covid vulnerability if you embrace your vulnerability you are doing the most amazing step for success because we do not need to be super women we are not super women in fact we are just women flesh and blood <laughs> real women that have moments that are difficult that have amazing moments of joy but we are women we have our vulnerability but once we are aware where we are our strong and weakness we can work on that and that is what uh, I do is that what women leadership do is bringing that support, bringing that uh, raising you as a woman. So please embrace yourself as you are. Do you like re uh, red, red uh, lipstick? Use it. That makes me, for example, that makes me feel just amazing. If you need support ask for it we are not once again super women we are women that want to achieve amazing results there is a process and trust on that process to achieve that result i can help you i think all my life i have been out of my comfort zone so uh, I wanted to be, a, uh, first I didn't know what I wanted to be, to be honest. I wanted to be a doctor, so, but I, I, I didn't. I, I, I became a doctor of companies, like uh, psychologists, uh, or organizational psychologists. So I reinvented myself at that time by not knowing very well what that meaning, but I wanted to be then human resources director, and that was my goal. And I have accomplished that being Women Resources Director of big companies, international companies, and that was amazing. But then once again, I asked myself, I want to do more. What can I do more? How can I bring more? While I was doing all this journey in terms of career and the path, I was already reinventing myself, but I didn't knew. And that is the most amazing because we can do that and we are trying to find, and I was trying to find what else can I do? And then these topics related to, to women, how can we give more voice? How can we bring more voice? Because the numbers are not our friends when we look to women in high positions and level of leadership. We have to do the change. We have to be the movement, otherwise, what legacy I'm leaving to my kids? And I have a daughter and a son. What legacy am I leaving to my daughter and to my son if I cannot do anything to change it? I don't know if I'm going to change it, but at least I want to bring awareness. And yes, of course, if I'm making the change in one woman's life, oh, I'm very happy. So when you think, your question reimagine myself i never thought on that i thought was how can i do more what can i bring more what can make the difference for others and for me because we are on that journey and if it doesn't make sense for me how is it going to make sense for the others and uh, is that why Today, I look to women, empowering women, leadership of women, but aside with men, equity. We must bring men and women to these conversations, saying to them, 
Okay, you don't know. It's cool. We are here to support you. It's okay to not knowing, but you are aware that you want to change, that you want to be a leader, that we want to uh, bring uh, your leadership, your voice. And that's, that's the way I'm reimagining myself bringing that awareness and that change. That was an amazing conversation with Eva, wasn't it? If you're captivated by Eva's insights and want to hear more from her, don't forget to check out the full interview on the BU podcast. The link is right there in the description below. To learn more about Eva and her groundbreaking work, be sure to follow that link as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave a comment. Your engagement truly makes a difference. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want more content like this. Thank you for joining us on BU Spotlight, and we'll see you in the next one.